Hey everybody, Code 9001 here. Uh, with day seven, like, I guess day seven going into day eight now, because unfortunately, um, due to some tragic incidents, um, I am unable to get a video up today on December 7th being for day seven. So I guess for the time being I'm combining these uh, two days together since knowing the way things are working out um, it's going to have to be combined into one day anyway so I'm sorry guys that I didn't have an up that I don't have an update or by the time you're seeing this didn't uh, yesterday so I apologize um so for the day 7 slash day 8, because knowing me, I'm probably going to upload this uh, tomorrow. Um, we're going to combine the topics that I was going to cover. Um, the Oracle games and the CDI games. Now the Oracle games were on the Game Boy Color. And initially, coming out of Japan, there was a plan for three games to actually be released. Um, each being a different part of the Triforce, hence why Seasons and Ages have a certain color to them. Because the way it works, um, what was going to happen was these three games were going to be connected to each other, and you had to play all three in order to get the true ending. However, Nintendo didn't really like that proposal, so what they did instead was change um, the games, two of the games, which were Power and Wisdom, and they re... they re they reorganized it and renamed them into Oracle of Seasons for the Power, and Oracle of Ages for Wisdom, and the Courage got cancelled. Um... So instead, just the two games are to be connected to each other, you play them both, and you get the true ending of fighting a revived Ganon. I'm not sure where exactly the Oracle games would fit on the timeline, but trust me, I will have a video completely dedicated to what I believe to be the timeline of Zelda, and as well as talk about general theories for that. And uh, since this is probably going to be posted on December 8th, I might as well cover this now as well, the CDI games. Just getting a little heads of schedule um, a bit. With uh, the CDI games, um, what happened was uh, the CDI was developed by a company, Philips, who, um, along with Sony, worked with Nintendo. And there was initially going to be an, a CD expansion to the N64. However, both Philips and Sony decided to go off on their own and make their own uh, systems. Sony, of course, made the PlayStation, and Philips dis developed the CDI. Now, the CDI, it was known to be one of the worst systems ever. And unlike Sony, uh, Philips was actually given permission to create uh, Nintendo games on it. So what we got was Hotel Mario and three Zelda games. Now the Zelda games were one of Gamelon, uh, Link in the Faces of Evil, and Zelda's Adventure. And two of those games you could play as Zelda and your request is to save Link. Unfortunately, these games are not really meant to be talked about, but since it's Zelda Muff, I have to cover it a little bit. Um, you can check out Angry Video Game Nerd on his review of the Zelda CDI games, just how awful they are. And that will be it. Hopefully I see you guys tomorrow, or when you're seeing this tomorrow from then, on December 9th, for day nine and get back on schedule. See you guys then. Goodbye.